Welcome back to Virginia This Morning Live here on CBS 6. Whether you're hosting a summer party or a bridal shower or attending one as a guest, food and dessert is often a highlight. In this segment, our great friend of the show, Mary Rappaport, shows Jessica a creative way to make a special cake. Every memorable occasion deserves a special cake, and today we're going to feature one that will take center stage. Our great friend of the show, Mary Rappaport from the Virginia Egg Council, is back with us, ready to share the step-by-step -step process on putting together a picture hat cake. Perfect it, for your next it's party. It's picture perfect, too. It's picture actually, perfect. That's right. Hats you know, off I think to you, that, Mary. Do you have a favorite picture hat at home? Do you? I you like do, to... tucked away, but I don't have the excuse to yeah. get it out often enough. And, and here is my favorite picture hat. And uh, I always wear it on Derby Day when we have, even if it's just my husband and myself, I bring the hat out. But I was thinking about what fun it would be to have cake like this for like Mother's Day, for picnics, for showers, for any time you want to have a centerpiece cake. This is what the finished product looks like. It looks very much actually like my real picture hat, as you can see. Not as great and big, but is that so cute? Look at that. Is that adorable? They're and so similar. They're so similar. I'm concerned you might put it on and just try to wear it. It looks that perfect. But the neat thing is, is it's super easy. I think that even the children can make it. So I'm going to tell you what you do. First of all, you need a pretty big cake, a pretty wide brim part of it. And most of us that are not cake decorators and uh, cake bakers for a living don't have a 12 inch cake. So what I did just is I just took a pizza pan. This is a 12 inch pizza pan. And I have, this is heavy duty aluminum foil that I fit in the bottom, I cut about two, I cut a big square and then cut it like this and then crimp the sides so they stay up. And actually I've baked three cakes in, the, in this uh, one of these uh, foil things. So they really do stand up. So you need a 12 inch pizza pan. And then for the crown part of it here, I used a six inch in diameter bowl. I actually used the smallest bowl in my uh, stainless steel bowl set but if you happen to have old school Pyrex, it says on the bottom that you is safe for oven use. You can use this as well. And this will be the crown part of it. So what you do first of all is you get your pans ready, spray the crown and the brim with baker's spray, and then they're all set and ready to go. The next part again is super easy because what you do is you use a cake mix. Any kind of cake mix will do. You use a small package of instant pudding mix and make sure the flavors sort of blend. Um, I've never done chocolate, but that might be kind of neat. Um, I've always done sort of light, uh, light colors, white or yellow. And then uh, three fourths of a cup of water, a third of a cup of oil. And then instead of the regular three eggs, we're gonna have, this is gonna be more like a pound cake, a little bit richer and uh, Less, less cake mixy. I've used five eggs. Those two extra eggs really do make a difference and make it more like a pound cake. A lot of people have those recipes like that, that like full pound cake recipes using cake mix. It's really it. cool, Mary, in so many ways, because when you're taking the time to construct this, right, the presentation is a big part of it. It's nice to be able to use the the helpers, the cake mix, absolutely. but sort of doctor it in a way, as you said, so it's not quite so cake mixy. Yeah, actually, and it really is delicious. And actually, you could even put part of the water, you could put rum if you wanted to really bump it up a, a notch or maybe put some flavoring, strawberry flavoring or whatnot. But when it's, uh, and then you bake it 350 degrees, the bottom part takes about 15 minutes. You put them both in the oven, 350 degrees. The bottom part, like I said, 15 minutes. And then the top part takes about 15 minutes longer because you see it's deeper. When they're done, you cool them completely. And then you flip them out, they come out so easily. And this is a cardboard uh, cake plate uh, that I got in the in the section of um, uh, uh, you know baker section where they sell all these things because I didn't have a flat you really need a flat cake plate for this because you want it to stay flat so that goes down here and then I frosted it again I used just canned icing 
but it would be neat to do whipping cream. I was thinking whipping cream all around, whipped up. That would be wonderful. But then you need a place in your refrigerator to store it. Okay. So that's, <laughs> that's, that's another treasure hunt. And hats off to you if you can find that space in the fridge these right. days. I know. Mary, and that, we have like that, 15 seconds. We have about 15 seconds left. So you're going to put the top of the hat right on. This goes on the here. Then you wrap around some ribbon. Make a nosegay out of either fresh or silk flowers. That goes here. A big bow. And here you have a picture hat cake. Perfect for your next garden party. If we ever get back to garden parties again. Or, or just a centerpiece for anything. Powdered sugar on top. Wonderful, wonderful idea for fun for the summer. Beautiful, beautiful. And I would challenge friends to each make one and then you could have a whole hat shop brunch. Great it's ideas, Mary, fun. thank you. We're gonna share that recipe, terrific, terrific recipes and ideas for Mary Rappaport with the Virginia Egg Council. We hope she has a fantastic summer. Hats off to that great idea. We'll have that recipe on our website later today, wtvr.com slash VTM. Mary had a few tweaks, so we'll be sure to include those. All right, Jess, that was a unique cake. It really put a cap on the day today. What is your, sorry, what is your favorite kind of cake, by the way? Do, do you have one? Uh, whatever one they're serving that day. I don't know. I, again, like I said earlier, I've rarely met a gift shop that I don't like, and I've rarely met a slice of cake that I'm not a fan of. <laughs> Well, this time of year, it's strawberry shortcake for me. Ooh, but yeah. my normal answer would be any kind of coconut cake, because I love coconut cake. And uh, I always have coconut cake for my birthday. But uh, May and June, even into July, strawberry shortcake. Mm, that's my favorite. So you're a seasonal seasonal cake aficionado. Well, 10 months of the year, it's it's coconut. <laughs> May and June, <laughs> strawberry shortcake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. I just thought that idea was so fun. Mary makes it look so easy. And then to just go in and use like a bowl as the topper and then yeah. to have the, uh, you know, the, the other one that she makes out of the tin foil was yep. just so unique. She looked like she's made a hat cake a time or two before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's done that a few times. My mom used to make Easter bunny cakes kind of the same way with, you know, Ooh. round and, and things like that. So, yeah, I, and she said, so easy a child can do it. Was she looking at me? Was she? <laughs> I, no comment. I just really like that we could have a, a hat shop cake party. That's what I'm daydreaming about now. Looking forward to that. <laughs> All right, looking forward to sharing some more time together. We'll be right back with more Virginia this morning.